Hi everyone. I want to talk to you today about the hip joint and why some people might need more stability at their hip. So I have brought along a model and I've, I've tried to do some arts and crafts here, but it, I have to admit it's not perfect. So here is a model of the part of your pelvis and a hip joint. So just to orient you, I know it's kind of hard to see if I put two of these together, this would be my uh, pelvis or my pelvic bowl. And at the back here where my face is would be the sacrum, okay? So we're looking at one side of the pelvis and then we're looking, so this is called your ilium, and then we're looking at your femur. And then the hip joint is this ball and socket joint here. Now, things um, affect the stability of the hip even when it comes down to the bony architecture. So you could have a nice deep socket where the head of your femur fits in very well, and that would just give you some intrinsic stability. But there are other people that have a very shallow socket here, and that means that more of this ball hangs out of it. And then that would give you more range of motion. People often that have like more range of motion at the hip, sometimes they have something called hip dysplasia. But you might find this in someone who looks like they have a lot more flexibility, right? Like in a dancer, a gymnast, um, maybe a circus arts person, even hockey players or hockey goalies anyway that have to go down into that split. So after the bony architecture, we have something called a labrum. And the labrum is a cartilaginous ring that acts, um, it kind of deepens this socket and also acts like a vacuum. So the, it keeps, the labrum keeps pressure in the joint and it sucks it into the joint. So it looks more like that, okay? So where you have the labrum now that's giving you more stability. And again, the labrum can be different from person to person. You know, you could have a thick labrum, a thin labrum, a broad labrum. The integrity or quality of this tissue can be different from person to person. And over time, you can have degenerative changes that happen at the labrum as well. After the labrum, we have ligaments. Now, ligaments are um, thick, thick structures, like thick collagenous structures that hold uh, bones together. So you have a bunch of these thicker ligaments that give stability to the joint and they hold it together. And again, the quality of the ligaments can be different. If you have a different collagen type, you might have more elasticity. And if you have um, a stiffer collagen type, then you might have more stability. And then finally, we have the tendons. So the tendons are more stretchy and it's where muscle attaches to bone. So you have all of these elements that are there to try to give you stability. Now, people that might need more stability, like I've mentioned, or people that have more hypermobility, could be at a joint, could be general hypermobility based on your collagen. It could be someone who's had an injury or trauma or surgery to the area and you need to rehab after that. Uh, inflammation can cause muscle inhibition, so we might need to just kind of wake up those muscles. Um, also, it could be someone who uh, has been relatively sedentary and they're trying to get back to activity, but because they haven't been doing a lot, there's some atrophy and maybe they just need to work on stability to help them uh, start back to movement safely. So there are your options and I'm going to make a video series or a video showing some hip stability exercises.
Thanks for watching.